Now, the effect of COVID-19 has, has, has not only boosted digital payment, but also online shopping. Now, many more people feel comfortable transacting businesses from their homes, offices or leisure centers. And one of such company uh, that is promoting e-commerce and ready to support government digital agenda is Steamman, which is making it easy for consumers to shop online. There is more in this report. Despite the negative impact of COVID-19 on global economies, the information, communications and technology subsector grew strongly because of its seamless transactions where one can undertake transactions anywhere, anytime and any day. Here is Executive Vice President of Stemman Group, Nana Obing Brinchi. Our main focus was to see how we can contribute our quota to expand um, opportunities for the Ghanaian. And so when you look at the very nature of e-commerce, it creates great opportunities for a lot of shop vendors, traders. And it also sort of facilitates and greases the economy with a lot of economic activities. Um, we also believe in digital, the digital evolution. And I know the governments have been championing the digital evolution. And we, we thought that e-commerce also contributes its part to that. Now, on the operational side, we've served through the market and we realize that there are still gaps when it comes to offering that kind of um, customer satisfaction when it come, uh, with, in the area of e-commerce delivery. And that is one thing that we thought that if we could come in and contribute our quota to augment what current players are doing, we could help shape that um, particular niche of trading and so that those are the motivation that we had in um, having to think through it in order to um, come up with what we came. It's the habit of undertaking e-commerce as a secure form of transaction. We also believe that um, Ghana being the gateway to the entire African continent, we have a strategic focus on penetrating every African country that is ready to accept us. And we've set in our strides in the next five years to be in about 20 African locations. And our platform is that nimble and flexible enough for us to scale that quickly. And so that is in our medium term, the next five, five years project to at least be in about 20 African countries. And we really want to achieve that by the grace of God. And it's going to be done. Our CEO and chairman of our board is very, very committed to this. And we hope by the grace of God we should be able to. So we have a very secure platform, um, great firewalls, the security on the platform is um, par excellence, I must say. Um, we've um, subjected it to a lot of um, stress tests and they've all passed. We have very, very um, top professional IT security people who are watching over the platform and we're making sure that every data that goes in there is par excellence. So, I can assure customers that security is not going to be compromised with this platform. And so you also mentioned about competition and all that. We believe in um, creating a much bigger space. Um, yes, the forebearers have done their bit, but we believe that the market is still very, very open, that we can also come in and push the entire agenda forward. We've seen a few operational challenges in the market, but I believe that once we come in, we can also support and augment the experience that the Ghanaian is going to have on that. So basically, that, those are some of the things that we believe that we can come in. Though there is no clear-cut data as to the number of Ghanaians shopping online, quite a number of Ghanaians are now shopping through the internet.